this is problem 5.83 then for this problem uh, the hydrostatic pressure is a little more complicated so for this guy uh, you can have something like this for the water so this is the usual uh, hydrostatic pressure you have something like this And then this length, right, which is the usual um, formula, which is gamma B H. And in this case, gamma is going to be um, gamma of water, right? So gamma of water. Uh, B is the same for both cases. But H is going to be um, this distance. I'm, I'm going to call this distance X. So the other distance is going to be 6.6 .6 minus X. Right? So this height is going to be 6.6 .6 minus X. And then for silk, it's going to be a little more complicated. I'm going to go like this. Okay, and this length is going to be composed of this length and the other length, another length over here. So this actual length is going to be the um, gamma of the silk, B the same for both case, and X, H is going to be the X distance. And this length, we're going to be take from top, right? So gamma water and B and by 6 minus X. And the whole length of them is going to be plus each other. And the main reason you're going to have this kind of thing is because if you relate to pressure, if you look at pressure, um, like this line of pressure is going to be only a point at the top, right? So that's going to be... Um, vertical line like this but for a line of pressure down here you're gonna have uh, not only the pressure of the water on the top but also you have the pressure of the silt from the two pressure you have to add them up so the pressure of the water on the top and the pressure of the silt you add them up and that's why you have this length you know, like that that's the the main part of this problem other than that, this problem shouldn't be easy, right? Now let's go ahead and calculate um, what happened when there's only water. If there's only water only, what's going to happen is you're going to have a uh, linear distributed force like this. It's going to go this way, this way, like that. If you know the distance is going to be 6.6 .6 meter. Um, yeah, and then you know this length. We are going to be calculate this length, which is um, gamma water BH. Gamma water is uh, rho water times 3 times 9.81 times. B B is one, and then H is just six point six. Right, we can find what this number is. And that's going to be six four seven four six. Um, the units going to be it's in per meter. That's going to be the um, linear density kind of so it's going to be this length right okay now we have pretty much everything we can uh, calculate the total force so for distributed load the total force is simply the area right so the horizontal force 
is just going to be the area, which is just going to be um, what well, area is going to be the base times the height divided by two. Be two one three six six one point eight. It's going to be in Newton, right? Okay. Now we have it. This case, uh, we know this is like the initial force, kind of. We know that the other one is going to be able to resist up to hundred and twenty percent of the horizontal force of the water. So this is the horizontal force of the water. You note that down somewhere. This horizontal force of water. Okay. And it can resist up to this number. Times 120 percent. Right, that's going to be um, 2563944.18 newtons. This is the force that the dam is supposed to be able to withstand. Okay. Now that we bring this guy down. Um, Right now with the silk, then uh, I'm gonna calculate the the area of this guy, right? And then you're gonna have the the horizontal force is gonna be just the area of this guy. The horizontal force is equal to the area is equal to you. So let's go ahead and calculate the triangle over here, which is just the base uh, here ten b. Then 6.6 .6 minus x base times uh, height, right? So you times 6.6 .6 minus x again, so square divided by 2. So that's the triangle. Now we're going to look at this uh, rectangle plus, or I mean, I can calculate this whole thing at once too, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to try to. Angle, just, just that's one though. It's gonna be that way. Omega W B is by six minus eight x, and then times the height, which is x. Then you plus the final area, which is this guy. That's gonna be a uh, base time height, right? So. Gamma S B X M X again for the height divided by two. Okay. Yeah, all right. So with off this, um you just and this force is gonna be equal to so it's supposed to withstand this force, right? Okay, now just plug all the number in and solve for x, and then you're done. So let's see. We have gamma b, so gamma gamma w is gamma of water, so it's 10 to the 3 times 9.81. Then b is just 1, so you don't care about that. 6.6 uh, 6 minus x squared plus water again, so 10 to the 3 times 9.81 times uh, b is 1, and then 6.6 6 minus x times x, plus gamma s, which is this guy, 1.76 times 10 to the 3 times 9.81, that's going to be gamma s, times b is 1, so you don't care, and then x squared, 2 divided by 2, going to be equal to this number, so Two five six three nine four point one six. 
Okay. Now this shouldn't be too bad. Just, just, this is algebra. Okay. So, uh, can check some of them out. It's gonna be six four seven four six minus nine eight one zero. Oh wait, no, never mind. So one zero and then ten that to be six by six square minus thirteen by two plus x square plus Six four seven four six minus uh, nine eight one zero x. That's going to be the second guy and plus add more space. Plus that bunch of thing. The eight six three two point eight square quarter two five six three nine four point one six. Then here you multiply out. That's an X in here. Okay, so multiply that out. Be four two seven three two three point six minus one two nine four nine two x plus nine eight one zero x squared plus six four seven four six minus nine eight one zero x plus Eight six three two point eight x squared equal two five six three nine four point one six. Okay, now we're gonna go put x squared, x squared together. The one eight four four two point eight x squared x and x. One three nine three zero two x, and then the rest of it. Six four seven four six. Will be four. actually I'm just gonna subtract this number as well. That number two five six three nine four four six two three five six seven five point four four to zero and then from that we know x equal Got it. Wrong number. So I look back and I think I forgot another X over here. Right, this X. I forgot that one. And with that, I'm gonna have to redo most of this part. Uh, okay. So um. So 
this guy, this guy for say for this guy. This for this, okay. And then so it's gonna be this guy over here. Yeah. There's another X square here. And that's another X over here. This is gonna be very different. X square, X square, actually that cancel out. There's only this X square. So 8632.8. And then for X, you got this and this guy. 64746. Minus 129.492. X okay. and then for constant of this guy then subtract this guy over here for two seven three two three point six minus two three six three nine four point one six is one seven zero nine two nine point four four Okay, now hopefully get a better answer. It's gonna be eight six three two point eight negative six four seven four six four seven zero nine two nine point four four. Oh yeah, another error that I forgot to divide by two on this part. That's a lot of inspiring error to have. This one's going to reduce a lot. With the 4905. And then that's going to change out of this. So, maybe. Two one three six six one point eight and then it's this one ten one point two six four seven four six and then four nine zero five okay so again get x squared Three seven two seven by eight, and then look at x. That is that is zero. Okay. And then look at the constant. Two seven three two point three six. Okay, yeah, that looks about right. <clears throat> and so you know, uh, with that we have x square, which is four two seven three two point three six divided by three seven two seven point eight, and that's going to be equal to. Uh, 11.4631589 and that you know x is going to be square root of that number which is 3.3857856 this is in meter and um, you know from the problem that the uh, the rate is going to be 12 millimeter per year, right? And so what this mean is you're going to fix this number.
you multiply it by 12 and then you convert it to meter so you get the number of year Okay, and then 12 times 10 to the negative 3. We should get 282 and pi 1 or 4, but then you add it up for 366, so it'll be 282 years, which is consistent with the one over here. Yeah, so that's going to be the final answer for uh, this problem.